What's going on guys, Sheena from Rockfile Sound. In today's video, we're going to be recreating the main bass from Gatterstrack, Asa, dude, and this is what it sounds like. So, really nice sound here. If you guys like that sound, please do me a favor by clicking that like button. Just to give me an idea of how many of you guys actually like the sound. So, by the way, guys, we're actually releasing this insane Future Bass Serum Pack Friday. It's literally the best serum pack on the market. And, guys, we're giving away some of the presets to you. Um, so, right now, you can actually go ahead and download the demo version of the pack, which has a bunch of free presets and wavetables that are actually straight from the pack, if you guys want that. So... Uh, that's going to be available for you 100% free. So go ahead and download that right now. Anyways, let's go ahead and jump into this tutorial. So we're going to start off by initializing the patch. And I'll set our A here. We're going to do a Spectral Monster 5. Now what we're going to be doing here is we're running frequency modulation from oscillator B. Let's begin to uh, cycle through the wave tilt position. Oh my bad. This part right here sounds a little bit too um, grimy, I guess. And then right here, it just kind of softens up a little bit. So I'm going to be using this part as our starting point for the frequency modulation. Um, so basically, we're going to turn on oscillator B here. And now we're going to drop the level of oscillator B since the sound is going to be outputted through oscillator A because we're running FM from oscillator A. So it doesn't really make sense. You had that extra feedback, if you feel me. So we're going to turn up the frequency modulation from B. As you can hear, we're obviously changing the formant of um, oscillator A's uh, waveform. So the more we turn up the frequency modulation, it almost sounds like the the more it changes the formant, or it almost gives an illusion of a higher pitch. So what we're going to do here is we're going to turn it to that sounds right good. Where are we? Uh, we're about 54%. That sounds pretty good. And now we're actually going to drop the level of oscillator A to modulate. Um, basically, I made a shape that looked a little something like this. It's completely up to you guys, whatever you're feeling in your own sound. Um, because, you know, no one's actually going to be making their own version of Rip and Dip. That doesn't really make sense. So anyways, we're going to turn on sync in oscillator A. Or oscillator B, my bad. And we're going to turn it up. That sounds pretty good right there. Uh, I know it's not too powerful because we haven't thrown on the distortion, which really brings out the frequencies here. But let's go ahead and move into our filter. Uh, we're going to go on to our high pass 24. And really, we're just going to be using this to shape the vowel or the, that gives kind of like the mouthy sound that the original track has. Um, so let's go ahead and turn up the resonance to about halfway. Um, that's really going to give us that uh, growly kind of presence on the sound. So onto LFO 1. Once again, we're just going to modulate this. That's a little bit too high. So as you can hear, once we start to turn it down, we do begin to kind of hear that talking sound. Right there is where I'm going to draw the limit here. Um, I can also turn up the drive. That'll also just kind of crispen up the filter. All right, perfect. Now let's get into the effects section. Into the effects, first effect on the list is our distortion. We're going to drag this to the top here, and we're just going to turn up our drive all the way. Big difference here. Um, we're also going to turn on our phaser and drag this ray all the way down to zero hertz. Um, that way we have one constant tone of the phaser. And then we're also going to turn down the depth and the frequency as well. Right there, it just kind of fills in these lower end frequencies that we do have in the original track. And we're also going to drop the mix down to about 85%, so it's not too heavy of an effect here. Um, right now, we're also going to modulate the EQ. We're going to turn up these two peak um, slopes here to about, um, this one will be about 16 decibels. Turn that down to 20. <laughs> Okay, and we're also going to modulate the frequency backwards. And that's really going to give us that talking effect here. Um, so anyways, as you can hear, really, really kind of changing the sound into the original sound that we hear in the track.
Um, so anyways, compressor, we're gonna turn on our multiband. This is really gonna squash up the sound here and really bring out these frequencies. Um, it really just kind of it makes it sound badass. Uh, so if you guys watch my tutorials, I do a lot of this um, by turning on the multiband and a lot of my um, a lot of my tutorials, I should say. Uh, so if you're new here, make sure you guys click that subscribe button. By the way, I forgot to mention that at the beginning, but you know we literally have the best serum tutorials on YouTube. So if you're not subscribed, you're missing out. Anyways, let's go ahead and turn up this gain. That's going to um, even turn up the uh, presence or the amount of the effect even more. It's going to really just kind of squash that down there. And then finally, we're gonna go into our hyper and our dimension here. And we're literally just going to modulate the mix on the hyper. I know it sounds weird, but hear me out. And then turn on the size, turn up the mix. And then of course you can literally modulate the master tune. Let's go macro one. We'll go global and do master tune and we'll turn this bad boy up to about two. And that's how we made it. Also, you guys can throw on an X for OTT, which is a uh, mul another multiband, or it's an OTT compressor. And basically, it'll even squash it up even more. Um, this is what it sounds like with that on. So that's a 100% free plugin, guys. And make sure you guys snag our free um, version of our pack, guys. This is really gonna be a huge launch. And um, we have already have some really, really um, notable names supporting this pack already. I'm not going to release it yet. That's going to be a little bit further into this week, but guys, this is literally an insane pack. So anyways, uh, my name is Shane Gregoire, and I will catch you guys in the next video.